Welcome to the home of the 2007 Stanley Cup champions, the Anaheim Ducks. And we are rolling in Southern Cal tonight. The officials there at center, and I think we are about to get this one underway. And there's the puck drop. Enough talk. It's time to find out what this is all about. Here's a short pass to Solani. The Bruins have it now. Grabbed along the board by Perry. Gets it over to oh. lap. Hey, James, let's get a circle back to that last hit. That was an enormous contact. The Bruins take the puck through the neutral zone. Quick pass to Savard. And a good solid hit on that play. Comes up with a monster save in front. Sharp reaction save. Chara's known for leaning into those big, powerful slap shots from the point. His thunderclap zone ability can overpower goalies. Gets laps an incredible playmaker. And with his third eye zone ability, he can make deceptive passes to set up his teammates. I'll be watching these two players to see if one of them can really shine for their team tonight. Guys, back to you. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. We've still got zeros on the board. The Ducks win it in the defensive zone. Up along the wing. Anaheim's on the attack. Scrum ensues along the board. Anaheim's got control of the puck. Grabs it in his own end. Moves the puck over to Whitney. Bergeron's got a great ability to hang in the play. Like that last one, James, he looked like after he stumbled, he was out of the play. Yet he gets himself back in position to get a pretty good chance on goal. The Bruins gain possession along the wall. Oh, some strong physicality on the play. Slides it over to Christensen. Rips it on net. An easy save by Thomas. Underway and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Miller. Takes the feed. Puck picked up by Miller. Moves it around on the half wall. Sorry, James, that's a really solid hit there. Moves it to the middle, and that's stopped. Hiller's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Lucic is known for getting physical and getting engaged. His truculence zone ability, it's what allows him to throw big hits and separate his opponents from the puck. You guys got to watch out when he's on the ice. Handles the puck at the point. Uh-uh. Nice block. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. The Bruins move the puck in the defensive zone. And some good footwork to kick it away. The Ducks get a hold of the puck along the boards. That's blocked. Chase in front. Can't get the shot off. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Knocked around, but keeps it going. Quick feed to Perry. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Fires it on net. How did he stop that one? Yeah, it's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Yells got it in the offensive zone. The Ducks scoop it up along the boards. Here they come up along the wing. And a little body contact on that play. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Takes a shot, and that's off target as it hits a body. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Brown. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Quick shot! Oh, and he has the answer there with a fantastic stop! Oh, and another big stop! He might want to look around and see if there's anyone going to help him. Two unbelievable stops in tight. 
turned him the wolf away. Sends it into the offensive zone. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. And that carries off a body in the lane. Good hit on the play. The Bruins will play it from the defensive zone. They go on the attack from the left side. Nice poke check. Hangs onto the puck. Hammers it on net, and he says no! Let's see what the officials are calling. This is always a fine line penalty. You're allowed a little interference, just not that much. Rookie's on this power play unit, and it's an opportunity for him to showcase his zone ability and help the team put one on the board here, guys. And sneaks in and grabs possession. Play is called for offside. Krejci's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Moves it to Chara. And he's able to handle that one. Great stick work as he pokes it. And the puck's kicked free. And that pass doesn't go. The Bruins have it against the wall. Pass it up ahead. Through the neutral zone and along the boards. Here they come. The Ducks get a hold of the puck under man. Sends a pass over. And we're going to get a face-off after the offside. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. Krejci's won the draw here in the open ice. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Scores a power play goal! Now you know, James, I made a living on the power play. You gotta keep listening to my stories all the time, but once you get on a power play that's rolling, you feel like there's a couple of different options. This team is good with the man advantage. Thankfully, your stories are good, too, Ferraro. Eh, I don't know about that. What a beautiful goal. I love the way this puck is moved around. He's known to distribute the puck at the right place at the right time. And then it ends up on the scorer's stick, and there's no mistake made. Hard hit on the play. Wow, did he ever finish him hard. And when he dropped, he also dropped his stick. Now he's got to collect himself. Looks like a yard sale out there. Grabs the puck in the corner. Here's a shot. Denies it with the pad. Scrum along the boards. Penalty coming up. And look at this. They've turned this offensive end into a pressure cooker. Oh, they have really got the cycle going. Beats it over. And there's the whistle. Officials hand up high, signaling a penalty. We know he's got that zone ability, and it could be a weapon here as they try to get on the board with the special teams. Anaheim's won the draw. And another call against the home team. It's just one of those nights. Yeah, I don't know how the night's going to get much better here. You can feel the frustration on the ice, but you can hear it from the fans. They've had it. Most teams are going to start in this 1-3-1 set. The key, though, is you've got to move once you get possession of the puck. If you move, the penalty killers have to follow. Take advantage of that extra player. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. Slides it on over to Ryder. The Bruins going to work on offense. Anaheim's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. The Bruins have it behind the cage. Moves it to the offensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Savard. And he 
he comes up with it. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. An ill-advised penalty, a bad time. One goal down, and now your penalty killers have to keep you right there. What an opportunity here for the man advantage unit. It's a five-on-three with plenty of time to work. It's a long five-on-three. You better get on the right page to take advantage of all this extra space. Too many times, the power play just sits on the outside. Boston's gained possession along the boards. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Great extension on his part to poke it away. Boston's got a hold of it against the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Great defensive effort with the stick. And a good save on the play as action continues. Boston's got a hold of it along the wall. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Recchi. The Bruins played along the boards. Up the post it in for the goal! Perfect shot, the goaltender's in position. Can't catch up to the puck and it's off the pipe and in. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. The power play cashes in. They move the puck around and get the puck right into the middle of the slot. He makes no mistake from there. Slavard's at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Anaheim's won the draw. Taken by Marchand. Boston's got the puck along the boards. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Reaches out and uses the stick. Picked up along the boards by Niedermeyer. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Boston's got it from behind the net. With some open space at center. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Ducks will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. Penalty coming up here. Another one. Man, they are short-handed the whole time, it feels like. About five guys are playing. Boston's got a five-on-three and lots of time on their side. Pretty lengthy five-on-three here, and you'd like to attack and get one early so you have a chance for multiple goals. Puck grab by Bergeron. And there's the save. Here's a short pass to Wheeler. Misses over the net. Now, I'd like to see him hit the net, but that's a dangerous scoring chance. Boston's got the puck along the boards. Here they come. Collision into the boards. Stoppage in play, offside the call. Chance to reset here on the draw on this man advantage. The Bruins win the draw here in the neutral zone. The Ducks have possession shorthanded. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Boston's got a hold of the puck now. Quick pass to Bergeron. Blocked in front. Hiller's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Christensen's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. He got a hand. Yeah, did he ever. Now he's got to go pick up the stick. Pretty tough to play the rest of the game without one of those. Christensen's back in the zone. He was able to get a new stick from the bench. Answered the call there. Hiller's going to slow things down and up for the whistle. Well, you got to kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. Savard's ready for the draw on this man advantage.
Marchant's won it off the faceoff. Less than a minute to go here in the opening frame. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Right up Main Street and on the attack. Shot tipped in front. And he made the save to keep that one out of the net. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. And now he angles it across to Ryder. Steps into all of that. He grabs the puck here at the point. Boston's looking to break out. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. And a strong physical collision on the play there. He scores! How's that to close things out? Wow, what a great time for a goal. I mean, you're happy when you score any time, but so late in the period, now you can carry momentum over the intermission. Hard work shows up in many different places on the ice. This is hard work. You've got to fight your way into the middle of the ice, around the net. You're going to take some punishment, but with the pucks there, that's where the goals are. The official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. Puck is dropped, and play resumes. And that's broken up. Puts it on net! And with that, the first period comes to an end. Both teams will have a chance to get a breather, and they'll be back on the ice with period number two in not too long. Period number two set to go here. Officials moments away from dropping the puck. A one-sided affair thus far. Let's see if anything changes here with the start of the second. Ray Ferraro is standing by with his assessment of the first period between the benches, Ray. The Ducks are going to wear themselves out if they don't get control of the puck pretty soon. They've had no possession time virtually at all, and they're trailing in this game. And the puck hops out of the offensive zone. They'll be forced to regroup. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Boston's really put the squeeze on here now, up by three. Puck scooped up by Chara. Gaining steam inside the neutral zone. Sends it in deep. Anaheim's got the puck along the wall. Niedermeyer stick handling in his own zone. Good stand up hit on the play. Pushes it across to Chara. The Bruins play it along the boards. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Ryan. Anaheim's through center and now in the offensive end. Quick feed to Christensen. Boston's got it in their own zone. There's the whistle. Let's get the call for the officials. The penalties keep on coming. Here's another one. It's like I turn around and you're gone for another ice cream, James. These guys must be bubbling with confidence here, James, because they've already scored on the power play tonight. And so they get another chance. They must feel good they have the formula tonight. The Bruins gain possession. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Stays with it. On the attack along the boards. Stick save. There's back-to-back -back saves. He's been really good on these high danger chances. And here's another one right from the slot. But he's trapped that puck to keep it in front of him and make the save. The Bruins have it behind the net. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Can't make the connection on the pass. Off his stick. Scores! The power play is cashed in earlier. They do so again here. Really nice effort with the extra man. What a goal here, James, but it's the tape-to-tape -tape pass that makes it all possible. The zone ability is the vision to see the play and the execution of the pass. The Bruins have really opened things up here in the second. It's getting out of hand. They've run roughshod over their opponent here in this period. It seems like they're going to score every shift. 
Along the boards, they battle for the puck. And some fancy footwork to kick it over to his teammate. Puck picked up by Solani. Shot! And he gets just enough of it with the club and keeps it out. Thomas makes the save, and I think the biggest problem a goalie has with a big lead is how do I stay in the game? He hasn't had much to do. You've got to stay sharp yourself. Oh, and he stopped that rocket! Thomas is going to wait for a breather as he swallows up the puck. Well, now everybody can get themselves back to their square one position. I mean, it was starting to look a little ragged in the defensive zone. It's a good play by the goaltender. Wheelers won a big draw on their own end. And now it's to Thornton. Boston's moving it into the offensive end. Maintains possession. Shoots it, and they score again. And listen to this place here. These fans have turned on the home team. I don't know what's worse, James, giving up the goal or that the clock stops again. When you're getting pumped like this, you want to get out of here as fast as you can. These are fun goals to score. You read that the goaltender's dropping into the butterfly, and you know you're going top shelf. You beat them over the glove, it feels great. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period, Boston's putting on one of their most impressive offensive displays we've seen in a while. The Bruins looking against the half wall. A chance! Denied by the goaltender. Redirected off a stick. Anaheim's got the puck along the wall. And a heads-up kick pass over to his teammate. Poked away in the neutral zone by Chara. And now it's grabbed by Wheeler. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Huge steal in his own end. Slides it diagonally to Miller. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Puts it in deep. The Ducks gain possession along the wall and sends it just out of reach. The Ducks take it along the wing. Sends it in on the attack. The Bruins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Passes on over to Savard. Slides it to Ryder. Shot! Just gets enough to keep it out. Quick shot! Oh, and another beauty stop right there! We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. <laughs> Good thing, James, when we were at practice, they were working on this penalty killing group. They've been out there a lot tonight. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. Every once in a while, you get a full moon and a great power play. They're having it tonight. Everything is going their way. Oh, he'd like to have that one back as it goes off the side. Just misses the net, but really the scoring chance is not dangerous if you can't get the puck at the goaltender. The Bruins have it now. Moves it on over to Krejci. From the open ice, they gain the line. Moves it to Chara. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out from the back of the net. Oh, and another quick stop. From the neutral zone now. Slides the puck across to Krejci. Receives the pass. Anaheim's going to look up at the clock and see their half a game is left. I don't know if they've got another gear, but they better find it fast, or this is really going to get ugly. Moves it up. Kobasu's already got a power play goal as they're back on the power play again. And that's another power play marker. Oh, the power play coach is going to be pumped here. They had done some extra work on the power play over the last 10 days or so, really paying off tonight. All kinds of bodies in front of the goaltender. I don't think he gets a clean look at this as the power play zips a puck around the zone, and they cash in. The Bruins' offensive onslaught continues in the back half of the second. They're not showing any signs of letting off the gas pedal here. This has been a dominant performance. Slick feed. Boston's got a hold of the puck. 
The Bruins gain control of the puck. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. The Ducks have it now. Sends it over to Brookbank. Taken along the wall by Ryan. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. Hammers the shot and turns aside the slapper with ease. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. The Ducks have it in the offensive end. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Here's a short pass to Niedermeyer. And he takes the feed. Oh, oh a truck with that. That hit was delivered with intent. That's not to rub somebody out of the play. That's to send a message. Boston's got the puck behind the net. Sends one up to Ryder. And he takes the feed. Quick pass to Pronger. Feeds it over to Solani. Dishes it to Getzlaff. The Bruins have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Across the line. Cross ice pass. Picked off by Pronger. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Slides it up to Wheeler. Boston's got it in their own zone. The Ducks gain control of the puck against the wall. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Ferentz has got it in the defensive zone. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. Good heads-up defensive play as he extends the stick. The Bruins look to start the transition game. Wheeler is going to play it against the half wall. Denies him! There's not much finesse in this. I mean, that is a glimmer of space. Drive your shoulder, get yourself to the front of the net, and hope you can jam it by the goalie. This time, the goalie makes the save. Moves it quickly over to Bergeron. Oh, what a great shift. He scores! You get down into that low slot, you don't have much time to deliver. That puck's on and off the stick in a hurry and into the net. The Bruins are almost making their opponents beg for the end of this second period, Ray. I'll tell you what those two locker rooms are going to be like, James. I've been in both of them. The one that's way ahead, it is a giggle fest. Everyone's having a good time. The other one, you could hear a pin drop from anywhere in that room. I'll take the giggles. Drives to the sweet spot, and that caroms off a body in traffic. Gets the tip. He scores! It's like the hockey equivalent of a buzzer beater, eh? Yeah, it didn't look like there was going to be enough time to box in the net. And now they feel really good about themselves going into the next period. That puck clearly changes direction. Nobody's going to be able to stop that one. It's in the net. The Bruins are starting to make people lose track of just how wide this lead is now. Busiest guy in the rink is the guy changing the numbers on the clock. Man, they are awesome tonight. And that brings the period to an end. All right, third period just around the corner. We'll get a clean sheet of ice. I'm going to get more popcorn, and we're coming back with much more next. Teams are lined up, and they are ready to get this third period underway. 20 minutes to go here in regulation to what has been a very one-sided affair. Ray Ferraro is at ice level, and he gives us his assessment of what he's seen tonight. Boston's power play has been like a machine. They get a chance, they put it in the back of the net. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. The Bruins are in transition. Takes it from the right side. Kessel's contributed to this blowout with one goal already. That's his second. Their line has played really well, James. I like the way they've moved the puck. Finally, they're rewarded again. He's got them both. He doesn't need much room here to be able to put this puck onto the tape. He's got this ability to find the open player and then make that pass perfect so it can be received. 
Boston's having a lot of fun out there tonight, but Ray, I can imagine it's a different story on the other side of the bench. Yeah, half the guys out here are having fun. The other half, this game can't end quick enough. Right in front! Oh. Scores! Oh, that was nice! In stride, the snapper just beats the goaltender too quick and too accurate. Two things at play here, James. We get a second look at it. It's the speed that he's skating, but also the way he delivers the puck in stride to beat the goaltender. Boston's all too aware. There's no mercy rule in hockey. They continue to apply the pressure. No, they're laying a beating on these guys now. It may be time to lay back just a bit. Passes it over to Pronger. Slides it across to Niedermeyer. And that's broken up. Boston's got the puck in their own end. And he takes the dish. Looking for space inside the D zone. Can't make it work. Quick feed to Solani. And now he moves it quickly to Niedermeyer. Centering feed. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Moves it to Ryder. Poked away yet centered by Niedermeyer. They go on the attack through center. Moves the puck. Big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. He worked hard to find the puck, but it's also because he's in great position. The Ducks scoop it up along the boards. Takes a shot. Comes up with a stop. Turns another aside. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Man, did he steamroll over top of him there, Seaball. Look out. That was a freight train on that one. Feeds the puck up to Ryan. Boston's gained possession along the boards. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Boston's coaches have really got a nice luxury to play with tonight. This second line has really been driving the bus. A big reason why they're in the lead of the game. Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. Christensen's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Scrum along the wall. Unable to reach that one. Christensen's got the puck through the neutral zone. Stewart's taking it from his own end. Puck moved over to Recky. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Whitney scooped up the puck now here inside his own zone. The Ducks pick up steam and are on the attack. And some textbook body contact there. Recky's got the puck in his own zone. The Bruins played along the wing. Oh, a clutch save! Here's a short pass to Recky. Hiller's got to be checking the clock here, wondering if the thing's ticking at all because the puck's in his end the whole time. He's been super busy. Boston's got a hold of it along the wall. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. Boston's got the puck in the defensive end. And now he tries to get it across to Bergeron. There's the whistle, and here's the call. It goes from disappointment to embarrassment now. I mean, there was nothing gone right for them tonight. Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. Lots of times you practice a power play, it looks great in practice. Then you get it into the game and it looks terrible. That's not been the case. They've been outstanding with the man advantage tonight. And the stick, his best friend on that save right there. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Blocked from someone in front. Great pressure with the stick. And he passes it up ahead to Ebbett. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Oh, and he gets a toe on that one to keep it out. 
I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Scoops up the puck. In close! Big stop by the goaltender right in front. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Krejci's looking to win this draw on this man advantage here. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. And it's a quick pass to Recchi. Takes the feed. Whoa! He scores! Putting the special in special teams tonight. Uh, the extra work they've done, the way that they've moved some people around, has helped them cash in more than once on the power play. The accuracy in this play is the thing for me here, James. Look at this tape-to-tape -tape puck work. Pass on the stick, move quickly, and now it's in the back of the net. Boston's goal-scoring abilities have been on full display so far this evening and here in the third. Really impressive display. They've moved the puck well, skated, really forechecked. Well, there's really nothing they haven't done tonight. The Bruins take it along the wall. Sends the pass in front. Off the stick, and they can't complete the play. Steps across the line and on the attack Whoa. down the right side. Hey, James, just jumping in for a second. That was an enormous hit. Nice pass. And he makes the save. Niedermeyer's picking up steam. Moves the puck along the half wall. And that's just out of reach. Fires it. Great score. And it gets right back to him, and he puts it home. D got out of position here. They wandered from the slot. That opens up room. The shot beats the goaltender, ends up in the net. Man, they're going to have to be way better than this going forward if they're going to have a chance tonight. Moments away from the faceoff. Let's get back to the action. With possession along the wall. With the one-timer, and that's broken up. The Bruins have been outstanding defensively tonight. They haven't given up anything, and it shows on the scoreboard. Chance in front, scores his second of the game. Now, here's a little math for you, James. One's good, two's better. He finishes off this opportunity, and now it's a great night. He uses all the momentum of his stride to deliver that snapshot. It pulls right by the goaltender. The Bruins are on absolute cruise control here in the third. Well, they've built such a large margin, you can use your whole bench and coast it in. Boston's in transition. The Ducks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Boschman's got it in the defensive end. And now it's over to Marchand. The Ducks are on the attack. From the point, they take control of it. Ference is moving the puck through his own zone. Throws it in. The Ducks have it against the wall. Quick feed to Marchand. Slides the puck over. That's intercepted. Feeds the puck to Marchand. Sends the pass over. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. Gets the puck in deep. Boston's got a hold of it against the wall. We got a penalty coming up here. Recky's visibly uncomfortable out on the ice. He's trying to get through the shift here and get himself some treatment at the bench. Centering feed. He scores! What an opportunity and delivers! This play doesn't happen without the accurate passing that has to go into the play before it ends up in the net. What a great play, known for this. And that's the ability to find the open player and then put the puck right on the team. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. The Bruins get a hold of the puck off the draw. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Boston's got a hold of the puck now. Gaining momentum along the wing. Great pressure on the offensive end by Carter. Boston's got the puck along the wall. 
A little back and forth. Bergeron's got the puck. And now he moves it to Ward. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Boston's got it now. Scrum ensues along the boards. Quick pass to Krejci. Final minute of regulation here, and it should be it. Tries to the crease. Oh, what a save in front. 40 seconds left in the period. Being stopped by the keeper. Handles the puck. Anaheim's in on the offensive attack now. Poked away by Ward. The Bruins get a hold of the puck along the boards. And it's freed up over to his teammate with a nice kick pass. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Moves it quickly over to Savard. And talk about a hostile environment as the final seconds tick away. And these fans are not pleased with what they've seen tonight. In a head-to-head -head matchup tonight, who had the better performance? Chara is a great player when he gets engaged, and he has been that tonight for the offensive side of this game. I've been impressed with his performance. Grips it and rips it! Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. And that'll do it tonight! Dialed in tonight as he picks up the shutout, Razor. Sometimes you watch a goalie in warm-up and they struggle, and you wonder if that's going to carry over to the game. I didn't think he was really sharp in warm-up. It shows you it doesn't matter. The game's the game. Thanks so much for joining us here. It was a fun one to call, and we will see you soon. For all of us here at EA Sports, stay safe.